Hello, Steve here. I have assembled and installed a fully functional hybrid alternative power system and uh, I'd like to share this experience with you. All right, we're up on the roof now where I have my solar panels installed. Uh, I've got 12 of these uh, unisolar 68 watt 12 volt panels here. Uh, these are peel and stake panels and they're real easy to install. It takes about five minutes. Uh, I have just put these two on the end here down yesterday. Over here uh, I've got my connections uh, that are either soldered connections or MC connectors. Uh, MC is just a uh, connector, a friction connector that's waterproof. Uh, I actually prefer the solder. Um, got to tie it into a cable, an 8 gauge cable here. It goes down into the uh, shed which is my power station. I have the turbine mounted there and uh, it takes about 8 miles an hour breeze to start that turbine and about 5 to 6 to keep it going. So. But it's, it works really good when it's working. Right, this wind generator is uh, 700 watt peak power. Um, it's an AC unit. Uh, I, I chose that because uh, you don't have a power loss between the unit and the uh, controller, which uh, I don't know, I think it's fairly important. Uh, it all comes out uh, DC anyway, so. Anyway, this it's on a on a uh, 20 foot pole back here, and uh, <clears throat> I've got it guy wired off, so it's going to be stationary, um, fastened to the back of the shed here, and uh, fed into the shed or the power room. at my outdoor wood furnace, uh, an integral part of my alternative energy system here. This thing uh, easily heats my, my house uh, very economically. Uh, it runs right off of a, my power system here, plugged right into the batteries. Um, it has a huge firebox that'll burn a three foot long log. As big around as this door, and so all controlled by a thermostat uh, inside the house. Uh, thermostat draft, thermostat controlled three speed blower. Uh, takes about 50 amps and 1300 watts to start that blower on medium power. Um, here's where I have my main grid tie into this uh, GFI circuit here uh, for some added protection. Uh, the other line plugs into the stove and down here I've got uh, another line to go into the house if the grid fails. Uh, I have island protection uh, on my alternative system so I don't uh, put power into a dead grid. Alright, this is where I have all my components uh, that uh, all my uh, controllers, inverters, batteries, all that stuff. Um, this is my main controller here. It's a Green Energy Star hybrid controller and uh, it's a thousand watt controller and on the input side I've got the three phase uh, AC turbine coming in here. Uh, got this meter on it here so I can see the voltage when, they're, when it's charging. Uh, Below I've got the solar panels coming in here, the DC panels, and below that there's a place for a, a DC turbine also. On the output side um, I've got a charge indicator and three output indicators. Uh, I like to show if the, if the dump load comes on and the green light on right now shows that the uh, solar panel is on. The one above that lights up when the turbine comes on. On the output, uh, it's uh, as I said, there's three stages. Uh, the the first one comes on at 12 and a half volts and goes into this grid tie power inverter, uh, which goes into this strip here and on into the uh, GFI there, as we saw. Uh, 
at 12.8 volts, uh, this second inverter comes on. You see, we've got two lights, and we've got the uh, this inverter is indicating the charge too. Um, it comes on at 12.8, and then at 13.8, uh, this third inverter, grid tie inverter, will come on and put uh, power into the strip. I've got also this uh, secondary solar controller, a uh, little controller I had from before. Uh, I just got it hooked up to charge. I don't have it onto the load at all, but um, it helps uh, take some of the load off of the uh, main system. Uh, over here I've got uh, my dump load resistors, which uh, are activated by the uh, controller. If the uh, voltage gets above 27 volts, it'll dump the excess into that uh, rather than damage components or batteries or whatever. Um, here, this meter here shows the, uh, the solar charge voltage right now, 13.53 volts. Um, I've got all I've got seven batteries down here now um, all wired in parallel uh, I run a 12 volt system um, there's a lot of controversy on that but I run a 12 volt system because uh, there's so many available components for it and another thing is it's much easier to charge this system than something else because you can do it with a regular battery charger uh, my generator's got a 12 volt output or I can hook my car up to it and power charge it up if I need to if it ever gets low um, anyway I that's why I use the 12 volts uh, on, on the output side I've got this big uh, 3000 watt inverter here this uh, I have, it's manually I can turn it on right here and uh, it'll come on this is what I power the stove with uh, right now it's showing the battery voltage is 13.2 uh, when you put a load on it you can see the uh, DC input current in amps and you can see the AC output in kilowatts so it's really a handy unit uh, has no trouble at all starting up that stove out there or refrigerator or anything like that um, down below here I have another power inverter a thousand watt inverter that uh, I use to power up my uh, dog kennel here we got a bucket there that uh, a heated bucket that comes on when it gets to freezing and uh, this mat here that comes on when they lay on it so uh, they're nicely hooked up here directly to the batteries and so also out here I have this, uh, this, this video camera that I use to uh, watch my station out here uh, if it's storming or at night or whenever I can see uh, all the lights and meters and things and uh, tell exactly what's going on out here anyway let's uh, let's go outside and look at the uh, power company meter now here I am at my power meter and uh, as you can see you should be able to see the meter is stopped right now and it's uh, a partly cloudy day and not much wind either but uh, my meter is uh, absolutely still so uh, <clears throat> before I set up this system I uh, was using as much as 684 kilowatts in a month. The first month on the system that dropped down to 340. The second month it dropped down to about 320. And with my, it'll be interesting to see how uh, it's going to be with those two new panels up there. How much more it's going to drop. So uh, anyway, <clears throat> let's go on in now and see. Look at the, all this on the computer. Okay, uh, we're in my office now, looking at uh, my computer screen and can see the uh, meters and the lights and stuff and and really tell what's going on out there without without being out there uh, next to it here I have my weather station up and uh, so I can watch the wind speed and stuff and it, see how it correlates uh, with how much power I'm producing uh, the weather station is uh, right out here and uh, sends the information to the computer too so Anyway, I can also uh, look at my turbine out there. I got another camera on it and uh, see if it's running or not. Right now it's not. But uh, anyway, this has really been a lot of fun and uh, I've enjoyed it every step of this. I intend to keep on adding to it. It's something you're really not done with. Uh, it's kind of good to keep on going. But uh, so have a great day and thanks for watching. Goodbye. Yeah,